Mass Tech Sports Radio, what's up? I want to do this while this is fresh on my mind because we fresh off the Wilder fight. Let's talk about Wilder's defense. Let's talk about Fury's greatness. And let's talk about all the crazy stuff that went on around this fight. All right, number one, Wilder showed heart. Got to give him props for that. Fury was the better fighter, better puncher. We saw that last night. However, what I noticed that when Wilder gets hit, he still comes forward. He still is not moving his head. And he's still kind of flat-footed. Fury, meanwhile, is not flat-footed. He faints well. He moves well. Herky-jerky. And even though I know some people are upset about how Fury held Wilder down, used his body to wear him down, which we all knew Fury was going to do that. Any boxing hit knew that's what he was going to do. He was going to try and use his weight to wear him down. That's what he did to Steve Cunningham. But that was the point of Wilder coming in heavy and also him being able to be more defense. Or defensive, however you want to say it. Malik Scott did some things with him. But I really think, like the Floyd, the great Floyd Mayweather Sr. says, he ain't even moving his head, man. Like, when even when, when Wilder is buzzed, when he comes in the first round, he, he, he's he got to learn how to move his head and, and move his foot, you know, do the footwork. Or he results back to what he does. And that's fine if he results back to what he does because his one right hand is deadly. But if you're going to have that one deadly right hand, you got to avoid the punches. So you always have a puncher's chance. You're not going to have a puncher's chance if you're getting hit in the mouth like Fury. There was so many times Fury hit him with a left, right. Matter of fact, one time Wilder got knocked down, it was when he swung so hard that his half his body went that way and then Fury just countered him. That was that was an easy, you know, put down for Fury. What I also really want everybody to understand now that this fight is over with is that this could be our generation's Muhammad Ali versus Frazier. This could be our trilogy of our generation that we'll tell to our grandkids. Kind of like our grandparents told us about that fight or those fights. So we got to realize, man, you know, it was just a, a, a great Great thing that we were be able to, we were able to be a part of last night, and it was awesome. But I want to finish with. I hope Deontay Wilder does get some of the animosity out of his heart. He accused Mark Breland of a lot of things. He even accused Kenny Bayless of a lot of things, and the stuff that was hurting him last night with the referee letting Tyson Fury push down on him and put his weight down on him. Kenny Bayless would have gave him a warning about it, but instead he threw Kenny Bayless under the bus with an Instagram post along with Mark Breland. He accused Fury of cheating. He used the same gloves. Those gloves are illegal. If Wilder wants to use those type of gloves, he can easily wear the same gloves Fury wore, especially if he's the puncher he is. He can really hurt somebody. So that's really where I want to go with this video. Wilder has some defensive things he needs to work on. And if he tunes those up, we may get a fourth fight like you had Marquez versus Pacquiao. Or it just may never happen again. Fury may be like, I proved everything. It's no point. Also, what I want everybody to understand is when you do these type of things, when you accuse people and you, and you go after people's character, you got to be willing to just say sorry. To say, hey, you know what? I was really upset. I got my ass handed to me in that second fight. I couldn't believe it. And the reason I got rid of Mark Breland is because what you saw last night, everybody thought I was done in the third round. But in the fourth round, I came out and I dropped Fury twice. And if I could have dropped him one more time, I could have got my title back. So he just simply needs to go and apologize to all those people. You know, saying your water was spiked. The allegations, man up, say, you know what, I was upset, I was embarrassed. Now I've come to terms with it. You fought your ass off. Everybody respects Wilder. Everybody respects Fury. This is what why we love this sport. So that's really what I wanted to talk about. Wilder's defense, and let's make sure that you apologize to Breland. Apologize to the ref. Apologize about the spiked water things. Apologize. And don't be like these YouTubers that go around and 
circle these gloves with the red thing on them and talk about, see, look at this cheating allegation, that cheating allegation, because now all those people are going to be embarrassed. Matter of fact, I can't wait to see what they say because they've been going on and on about cheating and allegations and all that. And now everybody is scoped, scoped in on it or, or got the microscope on it, however you want to say it. And they're going to have to come back with something else. They've been going on with this pre-pandemic almost a year and a half with this nonsense. So will those people come out and say they were wrong or will they just carry on with the same BS? Boxing is made to bring us together, not to divide us. Peace, I'm out.